So what I do is I just start off, I've already talked about reflection, and now we're getting into other things. So I start off the day without really saying a whole lot. I say, well, we're going to do something. I'm going to, you know, I've got this magic fluid. It's hormonal. I have um, a test tube. Uh, but I really, I need something that, I sometimes break these test tubes, and that's a problem. So I really need to be able to fix them. So uh, I am going to use my personal protective equipment because that's very important in the lab. Um, or at least it is if you're doing chemistry, but I don't need to do chemistry. Uh, so, so I usually get my personal protective equipment, which I need, because in this particular case, I'm going to break my glass. Okay, and that's lovely. Oh, cool. And they love that because oh, yeah. um, <laughs> at this point I don't usually break things. But the wonderful thing about this corn oil is that it is going to fix my glass for me. So now I'm going to topple my piece of bits of glass into my, um, into um, my And then I talk about, well, okay, we've talked about reflection and all that. And how is it that we see a, for instance, color? I've got uh, a nice uh, red button over here. How is it that we see color? And the students all know the correct answer, which is that light, the red light reflects from it, and so therefore we see it. And I say, well, that's all very interesting, but um, <laughs> there's no color in my beaker. <laughs> How are we seeing the color in the beaker? And they look at it and they say, huh, <laughs> I don't know. And then I talk about the fact that it's actually um, but it's the index of refraction, and the, it's the distortion. And they look at it and they say, oh yeah, it really is kind of distorted, isn't it? And so then I say, well, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to show you that it really is the index of refraction. And what I had was, oh, in here, I have a, a beaker that I really like because it's very small, and I'm going to make it disappear. Uh, so I'm going to make it disappear. And the way I'm going to make it disappear is by placing it in another beaker, and I'm going to fill it with corn oil, it turns out that Pyrex and corn oil have the same index of refraction, and so by filling it with corn oil, uh, I'm not going to be able to notice any distortion. I mean, it's just not going to be it not going to be there. So I'm not going to see that beaker in the middle. So I say, okay, you ready? Ready? Come, on, let's see. Okay. Uh huh. I'm pouring oil in there. See, it's disappearing, right? Right, right, right. Isn't it doing a good job? Disappearing? <laughs> and they look at me like, huh? <laughs> There's nothing going on right now. I can see that beaker. What are you talking about? And some of them try to be nice and say, well, <laughs> yes, a little bit. <laughs> and I say, come on, Nick, come on. It's really disappearing, isn't it? Come on, help me out here. Help me out. It's disappearing, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on. Help me out. Isn't it disappearing? And then it does. They always disappear from <laughs> that. That is up. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it disappears. And <laughs> it has to be magic. It disappears from the bottom up. It yeah, disappears right. from the bottom up. And it's really beautiful because they're just so not expecting it. It's something I do to actually work. Um, <laughs> that works. But then I say, yeah, it really is. It's because the index of refraction of the glass is almost exactly the same as that of corn oil. And I can show you, OK, let's see what was really happening with these test tubes. When I put the test tube, I really did have a test tube hidden in the corn oil to begin with. And if you see it right now, you can see. You know, look, you can see that test tube in there. Why is that? Because there's air in the middle. So the air to the pyrex or corn oil makes a difference in the index of refraction, and so therefore there's a distortion. What happens if it fills with corn oil? Watch, 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 watch. As the test tube oh, fills with corn oil. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Isn't it beautiful? It's just gorgeous. So it's just a beautiful, yeah, really it's simple dis um, <laughs> And I can do this again, right? Do this again. As, right, do it again, do it again. Come on, do it again, yeah. do it again. We don't want to take notes or do any problems. Right? <laughs> so I put, I put it in there. There is air in there, which is why we can see it. There's a difference in the index of refraction between the air and either the pyrex or the corn oil. And as we gradually fill the, uh, the test tube with corn oil, the test tube appears to disappear. It's just beautiful. I love this one. Okay, so that's one of my favorites. I just love doing that as an introduction to refraction. Is it easy to get the test tubes without the uh, Oh, right. 
Okay, so uh, really key is that the test tubes that I broke, the test tubes that I break, I don't do anything fancy with them. They're these test tubes, they have the white stuff on them. White <coughs> does not disappear very well. <laughs> okay, so what I did is I took a razor, a single-edged razor, so it's got the uh, safety side on one side of it, and I scraped off the white. I scraped off the white on two test tubes and also my little mini beaker, and I keep them aside and I don't let anybody touch them. Okay? And those are the things that I hide. The little white stuff on the side of the test tube and the side of the beaker doesn't disappear. Okay. Yes? 